so I'm going to get to that. Um, after the interview, send a follow-up email to say, firstly, thank you for the opportunity to come for an interview. This is what really struck me in the interview. Okay? So in the interview, intentionally look for something that really interested you about the company or that maybe you hadn't thought about and a question really kind of made you think about something. So send that follow-up email. Even if you don't get that job, that follow-up email is another contact point or a touch point between you and the company. Okay? And it might be the difference between them going, this person interviewed okay, but we're not 100% sure. And, oh, okay, she sent an email. Maybe that's just the extra little bit that we needed. Okay? So, yeah, comment on something that particularly interested you. Summarize in a sentence why you think you're the strongest candidate for that position. Okay, so remind them why you think you're right. You've now had the interview. Hopefully you've come away going, this is really the job that I want, and this is why I'm right. And maybe you didn't have the opportunity to articulate it in the way that you wanted to in the interview. Maybe you think better, like I do, when you're writing. So re-articulate why you're the right person. And then as a final point, send a contact request if you aren't already connected with that person on LinkedIn. Okay? So after the interview, you might not get the job, but you're still building your network. And you might not have got the job because there was one person who was just a little bit better than you, but you might be somebody that they still want to employ at some point. And if you maintain that connection and keep in contact, you might be that next person. So don't ever walk away from an interview um, or an application that you didn't get thinking that that's the end of the journey. Okay? There are always more steps in that journey.